This version of Pattern Pathways is best suited for players in grades 3 and up. We will need commercial set cards, a tetrahedral die, and game markers. To play the game with set cards, remove all the cards with three shapes and shapes shaded with lines from the deck. Place the remaining cards in a 6x6 game board. Each player will start between two spaces. The player's end space is, is directly across the player's chosen start space. When playing the game, players must only move to spaces that are adjacent. If a player cannot make forward progress, the player can move backwards. Players must move if there is a space they can move to, even if it is going backwards. If a player rolls a 4 at any point during the game, the player may move either four spaces if each successive space shares a side and an attribute with one before it. Alternatively, the player may move one space if the adjacent space has no more than one attribute in common. To begin the game, choose one player to go first. On your turn, roll a die. Move that many spaces. To move spaces, must share a side and at least two common attributes. The attributes the spaces may share are color, shape, shading, and number of shapes. In figure one, the player may move from the green oval to the green squiggle because they have the same number of figures and the same color. In figure two, the player may move from the green ovals to the purple diamonds because they are the same shading and number. In figure three, the player may move from the green squiggle to the green squiggles because they are the same color, shape, and shading. Suppose a player rolls a two. The player counts the first move as a, as a space onto the board that shares a side with the start space. The second move is to any space that shares a side and two attributes with that space. After the first player rolls and moves, their turn is done. Play moves to the player on the left. Orange goes first. They roll a one. Their only move is to move from the start space onto the board, then their turn is done. Next is green. Green rolls a two. Green uses their first move to move onto the board. They move to the red ovals. They can then move to the red squiggles because they share the same color and the same number of shapes. Now it is orange's turn again. Orange rolls a one. They move from the purple diamond to the red oval because they have the same shading and the same number of shapes. Now it is Green's turn. Green rolls a four. Green has a few options. They may move either four spaces if each successive space shares a side and an attribute with the one before, or the player can move one space if the adjacent space has no attributes in common. In this case, Green decides to move one space because there are no pieces around them that share two attributes. This play is repeated until one of the players lands on their ending space. The first person to land on the ending spot wins the game. Green wins the game because they reach the end spot first. In the blocking variation of this game, players can block each other. In this variation, no one can share space. If a player is in your way, you must go around the player. The first person to land on the space directly across from the starting space wins the game. Players do not need to roll the exact number of spaces to win the game. Some questions for discussion. What strategies do you want to remember for the next time you play? Looking back, do you see any place that you could have made a better move? Was it helpful to have the option to move to a space that did not share two attributes? Was there a shorter path to your destination?